Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. Jackson and I are out here doing one cast today. It's Thursday, the 23rd of May. And I'm up in the trophy area. <clears throat> They're still running two units of water. No floodgates. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna lay off the cicadas today, although I have been fishing them a little bit just now. It's about five o'clock. Sun's still real high. There's a few clouds, but it's pretty sunny. Okay, I've got three rods here. I've got a 125th ounce white and gray. I have an all 125th ounce black and then a This is, uh, yeah, I guess they're all the same size. That's a 1 125th black and olive. And I think I'm going to throw the white first. Although I think the black's going to do better. White and gray. I'm set up on the shallow side, the sun on my back. And I think what I'm going to do is probably catch quite a few small rainbows. Well, I don't know about quite a few, but most of the rainbows I'll catch are going to be small. Last time I did this, they're pretty small. I'm not going to throw this very long. If I don't get a bite like on three casts. I actually think this would do better over against the bluff, but because it's so sunny, Kind of want to stay away from that bluff. Although there are some guys throwing cicadas over there, and when I drifted over there, they were coming up and hitting them. So I think I'd do pretty good. I threw the um, the weighted cicada under a float and it was bright enough I could really watch and I could see the, the fish. A lot of them came up and just touched it. They just didn't want to eat it. They had too much time to see it and uh, the water again is not moving as fast as it was when they were running those three and four gates. Okay. I'm not even seeing anything going after this, so. Put that one up and throw the all black. I told some guys today, I said, if they're not hitting white, go to black. noise going on up there once they're working on that land. Jig just went by a trout that was just sitting there and he didn't even budge. I see a lot of fish, a lot of small rainbows, like I said, over here.
when I left the dock, I went over and looked on the other side of the lake on the bluff, and there were hun hundreds of cicadas on the surface. Hundreds. I mean, they're just loaded. Oop, he's gone. And there wasn't any fish coming up and eating them. Ah, I'm not going crazy over it. Hard to believe a more weekend is already here. Eat it. Rainbow come up and try to eat. He didn't try. He just, just went around that jig about six or seven times. There's one. That is a keeper up here in the trophy area. It's under 12. I can still see and hear those fish coming up and eating the cicadas. A little bigger, a little bigger rainbow.
if I can get him up. He's a chunk. That is a chunk of a rainbow. Bet he wasn't 13 inches, but he weighed a pound, I bet. Oh, missed him. Some cicadas out in front of me. Oh, don't miss them because I'm pointing at the cicadas. Swimming right to it, right to me. It's a really nice slow drift. Of course it's nice that there's no wind. So not a whole lot of boats on the water yet. There'll be a few more tomorrow, sure. You 
really have to work this small jig slow to keep it down. The two pound line really helps keep keeps that jig down. Helps it sink a little quicker. Of course I'm only fishing well now it's pretty shallow. It's probably four feet at the boat, five or six feet out in front of me. I'm getting a lot of bites on the on the initial sink. In fact, I think that's how I caught most of the fish so far. That's two I've missed. Move out a little bit. I'm on fish.
Tell you one more cast, and I'm going to try something a little different. There's one. So I just, I think I was just kind of scooting it across the bottom, working it real slow. That's not what I wanted to do. Another fat one. All right, I'll we'll be right back. I'm gonna, we're gonna go back up a little ways and drift that bluff bank, but, well, I won't turn the camera off. I'll just run up there. Not gonna go very far. See if I got the right color jig with me. Yeah, I do. Perfect. I'm gonna fish this fast water that I know holds some really nice trout. They've sitting down there just feasting on these cicadas. I've got an orange head. Olive. Yeah, wish I had brown, but olive and peach jig. 125th ounce. This two pound line. And I should be able to cast in there and watch this jig, especially having an orange head. I mean, I could watch. Of course, the fly is using underneath the float, the big cicada sinking fly. Um, it's much bigger and much brighter. I could see fish just swarming that big cicada fly and they weren't taking it. So I just wonder if they won't be quite as intimidated by 
a little low profile jig like this. I know they're sitting down there. And what will be fun is I'll be able to see the fish take it, I think. If if I can get one to take it. Or I'll be able to see him refuse it just I just had a cicada land on the surface to see if he gets eaten here in a minute. Oh, I think I just had a bite. This may not work. May not work. Oh. Nice. That was fun. At least I saw a big fish just refuse it. He swam up to it and then veered off. Another nice one in there. I don't think it's going to help to put this under a float. It's a good way to learn how to jig fish is to come out and throw a jig in the water like like this where you can see it. You can see when you jig it what kind of action you, you're giving it. Well, you'd think you'd, I'd see one dumb one take it. I guess they're so keen on eating one thing that and this doesn't look like that one thing. Hmm. Well, this is the this is the hot spot. This here down to the narrows.
I don't think a white jig would work. I mean, I guess they could think it's a shad, but... Oh, I just had one. Got him. Not the same one. Had one come up and just take it in his mouth. I just couldn't set it quick enough, and then this one did the same thing. He little. Uh, I got somebody coming up behind me. Like I said, I can see just about anything and everything that happens in front of me. I can see the jig the whole time. Sometimes I can see the fish before I cast. Most times I can't. darted towards it and then darted away. Okay, I'm at my log. I'm done. Okay, well, caught some fish. That was interesting in what I did it. Keep experimenting. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.